Pilates, the trendy workout of Hollywood's elite. Promising long, lean tone muscles. Victoria's Secret models, Hailey Bieber, Kendall Jenner, and now Kerry Washington. Kerry Washington did Pilates, so I did Pilates. Enough of this Pilates is old. Fun fact, I've been doing Pilates for three years. I actually did a 30 day challenge about three years ago and I've on and off again done Pilates since then. Coming back from surgery, I thought that'd be the perfect thing to get me back into the gym, low impact, and bring you guys with me. Explaining what Pilates is, is it good, is it bad, why it's the new trend on TikTok. Let's go. Day number one of my first time doing Pilates. It's recovering from surgery and I slowly want to get back into it. And as much as you guys know, I love my intense weightlifting. Sometimes you go through seasons where you're like, I just want movement, I still want some resistance, a little bit of strengthening, but I don't want like rah, rah, rah. Day one, I hit up house concepts for a mat Pilates workout, which is different than reformers Pilates, which I'll do later on in the video. The primary component of the workout is about 15 minutes on a mat. There's a little bit of weights and ankle weight. We use some bands, sometimes there's small dumbbells, and it's high rep, low weight, low intensity movements that really work on posture, core, and glutes. Day two of the Pilates challenge. Today, a lot more affordable option. At home workouts. There's at home ones on YouTube. I'm gonna find some. Research Kelty are going on the, the YouTubes to discover what is the most popular YouTube Pilates channel. It also occurred to me that there's probably like a good hundred thousand of you that have no idea who Research Kelty is because I haven't really like introduced her for like a year and a half. Hi, welcome. Oh geez, get who Jim the Shark, drunk Kelty, research Kelty. Everyone else, what the hell? I used to, whenever I was like researching things, go into character and do this, and now I'm like, do we keep her? Really cringe I'm fully aware. You know what, there's a point of cringe where it just keeps going and it becomes funny again? I'm going for that kind of humor. Do you want to see what's on my For You page? Oh, I just want to show Linda Sun. I love her, she's so cute. Saying Violet, I don't, know how to, I don't know how to say her name, but I've watched a lot of her stuff, she's a cutie. So definitely the most popular is this Moves with Nicole. We're gonna do that one. 30 minutes full body workout at home Pilates. 5.3 million views. Sometimes I'm like, why didn't I do that kind of channel? Cause they're like, Kelty, you know you're like attention span. <laughs> I'm like, true. I'm like, Kelty, change, DJ! Sorry to all you who came for like wellness, breathing, Pilates, and I just threw a lot at you. I'm just excited to get like back to my blogging, full of energy, tits are up. Workout. You're probably saying, hey Kelty, that looks a lot like yoga. You're right, there is a lot of confusion between yoga and Pilates. There's a lot of crossover between the two exercises, but I would describe the difference as yoga is a lot more about a flow and holding of postures versus Pilates is a lot more of pulsing and learning to engage different muscle groups. That's a very surface level explanation of the two, but a nice little description if you're confused where they separate. Update on soreness. I'm not as sore as I thought I'd be, but definitely it's a little like I sit down and I'm like, oh. I see. Three years ago, I was craving lower impact, lower stressed movements because I was super stressed out. I hit the biggest burnout of my life in June 2019. So I did a Pilates challenge and it completely helped me so much because I was just doing too much intensity. That's the thing about weight training and explosive. And this is coming from me, someone who loves athletic type explosive workouts. The rest of my life was also so stressful, but the last thing I needed was more stress and more stress and more stress. And Pilates is just a nice thing of like, when I was bundled up like this, I could just open up and stretching. And that can be any kind of mobility, flexibility. But that was like one of the first times I started doing workouts like that. I just woke up day three in the doms. I'm so sore. Day three, open. Legree is probably the most popular Pilates reformer. So what is Pilates reformer? You're on this kind of machine. There's different cables. It slides up and down and you can change the weight with these little levers underneath. You're gonna do the entire class on it. So sometimes you're pushing a little slide away from you. Sometimes you're doing things on the cable. Sometimes you're doing crunches on it. This is probably the most popular form of Pilates among celebrities, but I'm gonna warn you, it is not cheap. I just really am trying to reconnect with my body because after surgery, like I'm really trying to listen to it and I do find, yes, you can do muscle memory and there's a lot of connection you get with weight training, but there is just this nice like flowness you get to like Pilates yoga bar. So it's been really nice to connect to my body and be like, ooh, right there is where it's really tight. I need to work on that. Cause like I had a massive tension headache for the first time yesterday. I called my mom and we did all these stretches. Also right probably up to your chest. Oh yeah, it's all on my chest. It's lower. God. <laughs> too fast, too fast. So sometimes I find weight training, it's very stiff. Spin, very stiff. So this has been really nice. Going to the gym weightlifting right now, I'm just like, eh. 
Eh, I could. I don't really want to. I know myself. Three months, I'll be like, enough of this Pilates. This is so boring. And that's just me. So thought, so Pilates Reformer is on that bench that moves up and down. There's cables and it's weight. So this is also why a lot of celebrities like it is because it does have resistance to it. What creates muscle? which gives you that quote unquote toned look. It's building muscle progressive overload. You can do weights. It engages a lot more with like slow twitch muscle fibers. It's like muscle endurance it engages because it's not like high weight, low rep. So this is more like muscle endurance. So like you engage your slow twitch muscle fibers, not fast twitch. Why do a lot of celebrities love it? Because the weights are limited. So you can't really get quote unquote bulky. There's gonna be a point of so much muscle you can gain, especially because it's like an hour class. And the reality is a lot of celebrities don't want to be overly jacked. They just want that quote unquote, like a little bit of muscle definition, long lean, a lot of models. That's fashion. And is it right or wrong? I don't care. I used to be like, no, like that's what, like, I'm not anti Pilates. I'm pro. If you want to be long and lean and toned, and that's going to make you feel sexy and it's going to make you healthy, do it. If you want to be jacked and have a big, thick, juicy peach, do it. I love it. <laughs> Agree, done. My abs. <laughs> Pilates is really good for almost anyone to include once or twice a week, especially if you're someone who skips doing your abs, because it is going to work on really engaging your core. In my mind, that's where Pilates is to me, because sometimes I'm lazy about doing my abs, so I'm like, once or twice a week, I'm going to do a Pilates class, and I know I'm getting my abs in for the week. So the reason we're all doing this Pilates challenge really is because Carrie Washington said she did before the Met Gala and she's the queen. So I was like, you know what, today we're gonna do her Pilates class. And she does a reformer at this studio called Erica Bloom Digital. I already know I can't go because uh, she lives in the States. They have a virtual program. And they have a free seven day complimentary trial. Okay, there's all these different programs and live classes conversations, meditations. We're gonna do this one because I feel this is what the people want. Deep core connections. Change of plan. That was just about like connecting with your core, which I do like. And Carrie Washington even mentioned she's found fitness is less about punishing her body and like forcing it to look a bit more of a way and then more about like connecting with it, which is all what we want. So I'm gonna try instead. Intermediate, full body, no problem. <laughs> I can never do these and not think. Just keep swimming. So why do I think TikTok is suddenly the new thing? Well, naturally anyone that looks amazing on a red carpet, people are gonna ask what they do it, they copy. Kara Washington was on the Met Gala carpet, had amazing abs, we all want her abs. It, it's just funny for me looking at like seeing TikTok kind of going through what I went through three or four years ago when all I'd done was weight training. All I cared about was that. I hadn't done stretching, I hadn't done mobility. My only thing was like weight training. I had to actually like completely break free from weight training and stop completely and I just started getting into classes and that was the best thing I did for my mental health at the time. I just had to have a healthier relationship with it and realize it isn't fitness. For whatever reason, six, seven years, ten years ago, bodybuilding became fitness online. I asked you guys both on Instagram and TikTok to ask any questions about Pilates and we're going to go through them right now. Rapid fire. What is Pilates Reformer? It's Pilates on one of those machines full of cables, there's resistance, and it's this kind of machine that has a slider that goes up and down. It'll naturally fall on one, and you, it's kind of like on a lever system. Is it only on the machine? No, that's Pilates Reformer. Pilates can be on its own, just on a mat with weights or without. Can you burn enough cows to lose weight? You don't need to burn any calories to lose weight. You just have to be in a calorie deficit. It's not a high calorie burning exercise. Think of it for stretching, mobility, a bit of strength training. I would never do a Pilates workout to be like, oh, look at all these calories I burned. And that's not the point. Best places to try in Vancouver. Legree is a classic if you want to try it. Jaybird is, I think, my favorite. And I'm enjoying house concepts just for like the vibe of the place. Can you get into it without experience? Is it beginner friendly? Super. There was a couple beginners each time. It's really low impact. It's gonna be a little learning curve the first time, but it's definitely beginner friendly compared to a lot of other exercises. It always seemed like a sport all people did. <laughs> it's one of those things my mom used to warn me about. It was really in like 40 years ago and then it dies down and then it's in again and then it dies down and that's just the wave of fitness. Is it true that it's better for family hormones and, and overall fitness than weightlifting? Yes and no. Weightlifting 
is so important to hormones because you build some muscle. Muscles help with hormone regulation and all that. Now, I'm not an expert, I'm just very, seriously, I'm not a doctor. You do need some of that to reduce the likelihood of injuries. But the problem with weight training is people like overstress themselves and they overtrain, which has a crazy impact on females. That's why we literally lose our period if we're too stressed out and overtraining. We've been harping so much on weight training and fitness, and that's all the fitness is, and that's all fitness, TikTok, and Instagram is that there's kind of been this consensus that all these women are weight training. Now, even if it's just 1% are overtraining, that's still a massive percent of people. Even if that 1% stopped overtraining, went into Pilates, they see results. Just because all these people are seeing these results and changing, it doesn't mean you are part of that 1% that needed to. So I'm hoping this doesn't go completely, we all stop weight training, and then it becomes back in the 80s where it was like, everyone be scared of weight training, it causes overtraining. No, just some people are taking it too far, and those people needed to stop being at the gym, weight training seven times a week, and they just need to be there three times, and including one or two Pilates. Jenny, go drink some water. Today is day five. I'm doing a specifically ab, booty, thigh, Pilates class here at home. Usually Pilates are like full body. You can get arms in this. But one thing I hate Pilates is always like inner thigh work. Cause I know like the thigh gap and people don't understand the more you build the muscle, the bigger it gets. So constantly doing inner thigh movements would make it bigger. <laughs> And there's nothing wrong with big thighs. You don't need a thigh gap. Some people don't, some people do. It's just genetic. I just hate the idea of like spot reducing and people thinking training a specific muscle, like constantly training your abs or constantly training your inner thighs will get rid of like the fat tissue on it. No, you can build the muscle and it's gonna look nice and you do need those muscles, but building muscle tends to build. This is probably the best reason to do Pilates is like correcting posture and balances. And the instructors usually will have some indication of where your posture is problematic and how to fix it to get to neutral. It's a lot about like neutral pelvis. Day six. We're doing Jaybird in Vancouver. Right, it's a all black hot room Pilates. So I can't bring you in, but we'll let you know how it goes. I'm with Ash. I'm so excited, it's my first time. <laughs> we'll bring her through. Done, I'm a sweaty mess. So Pilates this time, oh God, I'm so loving it right now. It just, coming back from surgery, it's been really good about just opening myself up and just reconnecting everything because that's so crucial right now. Engaging the muscle, still having some resistance training and working my way back up. It's crazy muscle memory how much I'm feeling it. So I'm so happy this was a trend. And so if you're thinking about doing Pilates, it's not that deep, just sign up, try it once. If not, do one of the online classes, YouTube. There's so, just type in about, just go up there, the search bar. First, actually, don't hit a like. Hit a like down there. Leave me a comment, say hi. And then go to the search bar and just type at home Pilates and you'll find something. So I guess I'll end it there because you're about to go search that. Oh, have a great day. Go pet a dog. Love you. Bye.